I want to quote my friend Flex from Jersey here when I say, how crazy is it that the Suns could get their 50th win on the same day that they celebrate Al McCoy's 50th season? Can't make this stuff up. You guys, these are just my takeaways from the Phoenix Suns absolutely blowing out the Portland Trailblazers team 120-90 to 90 in, a, in a night where the Phoenix Suns really needed some scores to step up to the plate. That is exactly what we saw. I'm going to dive into the box score. But overall, you guys, my takeaways from this game is that the, the game was over after halftime, in my opinion. The Phoenix Suns outscored the Blazers 34-20 to 20 in the second quarter. Anthony Simons, who is a really promising young talent for this Portland Trailblazers team, had 11 points in the first quarter and then did not score the rest of the game. They benched him early. They waved the white flag early. And guys, my quick thoughts on the Blazers are, I feel like they are borderline rebuild. Obviously, they traded away CJ McCollum. They've had so many injuries this season. And sure, they might have some promising young talent out there, but in my opinion, they are borderline rebuilding. And tonight it showed, you know, they're just a young, inexperienced team. I kind of feel really bad for head coach Chauncey Billups, but everything that the Blazers are dealing with right now is going to be really big for them in the future. So hopefully the Portland Trailblazers can figure it out down the road and be a contending team again, especially if they can somehow keep Damian Lillard. But anyways, let's talk about the Phoenix Suns, who just won their 50th game of the season and as I mentioned before the Phoenix Suns really needed some scores tonight and that is exactly what we got Jay Crowder had 15 points Mikhail Bridges had 15 points DeAndre Ayton had 18 points uh, Landry Shamit didn't shoot the best tonight but he had 12 points Cameron Johnson continues to be absolutely fantastic he had 20 points four for five from three by the way and really just up and down the roster everybody scored tonight and that is exactly what the Phoenix Suns needed the Phoenix Suns had 32 assists now they did turn the ball over a lot I mean 16 turnovers is not good but it could be a lot worse there was a lot of fouls in this game but I'm just nitpicking at this point you guys it was a 33 point lead at one point and the Phoenix Suns just did not look back after halftime now you guys let's talk about the legendary Phoenix Suns icon Al McCoy who just celebrated his 50th season with the team here's his bobblehead from a few seasons back I showed this off in the video this morning and Al McCoy is a Phoenix Suns icon Mike Breen who is a broadcasting icon in his own right said that Al McCoy was one of his broadcasting heroes and that he talked about how just iconic he has been for the you know the NBA broadcasters and himself and he talked about how kind Al McCoy is and you talk to anybody in this league even younger players they just absolutely love Al McCoy you talk to coaches and GMs and broadcasters they respect and love Al McCoy and I'm just so happy for him he deserves this night this is a basketball hall of famer a Phoenix Suns icon and the voice of the Phoenix Suns Al McCoy so shout out to Al McCoy you guys and for you younger Suns fans out there like I truly hope you guys you know open up open up a Phoenix Suns book or go online and look up Al McCoy and just realize what he has meant to this Phoenix Suns team he is one of the greatest Phoenix Suns in the history of this franchise so that is my rant. That is my reaction. And you guys, I said this on Twitter. If I didn't say it earlier in the video, the last year, the Phoenix Suns won 51 games in a 72 game shortened season. And this year they just won their 50th game with 20 games left. We are the best team in the NBA and it is absolutely incredible. I know that we are down a whole bunch of guys right now. And I know that health and safety protocols and COVID is still a real thing, but you guys we are a deep team, and I am so excited for the playoffs. So you guys, make sure to Hulk smash that like button, and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Thank you guys so much for watching.